So I'm very pleased to be joined with Timmy Boyle from the Date Night Tour. And, you know, Timmy, you're you're a comedian. You're an MC. You're a host. You like to be in front of people. And the Date Night Tour is going to be making its way a ways across Canada. And you guys are making stops in Steinbeck, Winnipeg, and Winkler. Can you just tell us, what is it? Like, what can people expect if they buy a ticket? Uh, The best night of their life. Uh, That would probably be, uh, yeah. Um, it's, 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 a, it's, it's hard enough nowadays to find an opportunity to laugh. People have, you know, these last, you know, four years in particular have been very difficult. Uh, but it's even harder sometimes to find an opportunity, you know, to laugh, um, you know, with your, with your spouse, your significant other, with other people. I mean, um, everybody's got their own struggles and stories. And sometimes it's just nice to have an opportunity where everybody, regardless of age, race, gender, religious belief, can come into kind of one place and enjoy that laughter as a community experience. In particular, we're focusing on couples. Um, you define what that, what that is. I know there are two people that are going that are just friends that are looking for a night out and uh, neither of them had a date, um, but they're going, they're going out together to uh, enjoy a night of uh, comedy. We got a game show in there um, and also uh, to uh, support a, a good cause. Um, missionary fellowship, um, helping to uh, uh, supply the things that people need um, in areas that it's not so easy to get. And would you say that's maybe a big reason why you want to be involved? It's it's not just like a comedy show. It's for for like a better cause, too. Um, listen, I, I yeah, I think it's a great cause. Um, mm-hmm. And I've been involved with with lots of shows and, and uh, events that are for good causes. But I can tell you this, quite honestly, uh, um, the gift, giving the gift of laughter, uh, which I think has tremendous um, uh, healing power in and of itself and is a tremendous gift that needs to be given. That's why I do this. I'm, I'm driven by giving the opportunity. I've been doing this for 15 years professionally um, all across Canada. And any opportunity I can have to provide a room with the opportunity to laugh. Some people haven't laughed you know, in years, some people haven't laughed in, you know, you know, decades, you know, um, so that's why I do it. The fact that it's connected to another cause is a bonus, but really I think laughter is underestimated in some regards and, and that, but that's really what drives me. And how did you get, you said you've been doing this professionally for 15 years. So how does one decide this is what I want to do with my (laughs) life? Um, well, I think it, it, number one, I think it chose me. Um, I, I think I've, I've always been somebody who has enjoyed making people laugh. I was always the center of the room. My mom would tell you I was the most annoying person uh, growing up because I always had to be on all the time. I was the type of kid that would fall down the stairs to entertain people as they would come to my house as guests just to show them uh, what I could do. Um, and then I fell into comedy. I was, uh, I was tour managing um tours there was an opening to tour manage a comedy tour and uh i got asked to do that and amidst that tour i got invited on stage at one point that's a whole other story and next thing you knew i was opening up this tour doing just just telling stories by the end of that tour i entered in a comedy tournament and uh, two years later i i went full time so i had always wanted to make people laugh always thought i was gifted in doing it never really thought of it as a profession uh, until the door kind of opened up uh, out of surprise for me. To, and I just entered in joyfully, and uh, it's been a great ride. That's so cool. And I want to go back to what you said a few minutes ago when you were talking about, like, people can come with their friends, they can come with their significant others. So what, like, what is the cool part about that? Because it's like you're doing this show, you guys are focused on couples, but it's it's really for anybody that can come, right? Uh, yeah, I mean it's it's specifically called date night, um, but uh, but yeah, I mean I, you know nobody is going to be at the door um, saying you can't come in, you know show us your marriage license, show us you know like some sort of you know ring that shows that you guys are committed to each other. I mean it's nothing to it's so no one's going to stop anyone from coming in. Um, but it was you know with with any with any event you you try to um, build it to um to a niche to a to a to a focus that happened to be thing there's a there's a need for people to get out there and have that 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 time out with their significant other and uh some of the comedy might might uh, you know angle towards um relationship stuff 
Um, but I mean, those are simple principles that whether you're in a relationship now or not, uh, they're principles that you can apply at any point in your life. So I think there's value in it for everyone. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So, you know, whether someone's looking for a date night out, whether they're wanting to get out with friends and just have a good fun night, laugh, have just relax a little bit. You guys, like I said, are making three stops across Manitoba on February 8th at, in Winnipeg, um, February 6th and Steinbach and February 9th in Winkler. You find all the details. We're going to be giving away some tickets. So we're going to help some people out. They get some free tickets. So yeah. Um, before I let you go, is there is there just one quick joke or one story that you could just give a little, <laughs> a little sample of what people can expect if they show up? Um, is, there, is there a sample? Uh, well, a lot of my a lot of my stuff is is uh, is storytelling, so they tend mm-hmm. to be in a little bit of a of a longer quip. Uh, but you know, Joey ILO is going to be there. Uh, Christian McCartney as well. We're all we're all very different in our styles. Um, Listen, I, I would like to say this, though, me personally, um, I think I'm a tremendous gift to this tour and to all those that come out, because um, not only do you get the gift of laughter with me, but you get a little candy for the eye. So it's a little bonus all around. The, guy, uh, the, guy, the, guys, the guys will want to be me, the girls, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Um, oh, now, I, but what what I love about doing what I love about doing these these tours with multiple comics is um, Christian's a younger a younger guy um, married uh, you know Joey and I have known each other a long time um, and we all have very different perspectives on on relationships and and marriage and uh, um, so and we all have very different styles of comedy so it's it's one of those nights where you know, comedy is very subjective. And so this is an opportunity to come out and really be able to, to, you know, experience the, the different uh, angles that can be taken in regards to relationships and life in general uh, through the eyes of three very different people um, who are going to tell very different stories about it. So it's going to be quite, it's going to be a crazy ride. Joey, Joey and Christian have a ton of energy. The game show is going to be an amazing part of it. I think that's going to be an underestimated um, part going in um, is the fact that we're having a game show live on stage, so it's it's just going to be a it's just going to be a fun overall night that uh, that people definitely won't forget. All right, well it sounds like it's going to be a great time. Like I said, guys, are going to be coming in February. We're going to be giving away tickets on the air. It's going to be fun night, whether it's with your significant other or with a friend. Thanks so much, Timmy, for joining us. Angela, thanks so much for having me. I'm looking forward to. Are you going to be at the show, by the way? I uh, I'll try to make it. Yeah, we'll see if we can if we can make it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, hopefully we can get a chance to meet you in person at some time. Thank you for your time today. Yeah. We really appreciate it.